Diabetes can affect several parts of the body, including the skin. If diabetes affects the skin, it is usually a sign of too much sugar, glucose, in the blood. This can mean you have undiagnosed diabetes or prediabetes. Your diabetes treatment needs to be adjusted. Let's check out the 10 alarming diabetes signs on the skin. Number 10. Necrobiosis lipoidica. Yellow, red, or brown spots on the skin. This skin condition usually starts as a small, raised, firm bump that looks like a pimple. As they progress, these bumps turn into raised and firm patches of skin. Patches can be yellow, reddish, or brown. Red, swollen, hard lumps on the legs or lipoid necrosis. You may also notice the following. The surrounding skin shines like porcelain. You can see the blood vessels. Itchy and sore skin. Dermatology goes through an active, inactive, and active again cycle. The medical name for this skin issue is necrobiosis lipotica. If you have not been diagnosed with diabetes, you should be tested for diabetes. Work with your doctor to better manage your diabetes. Consult a dermatologist about your skin. Necorbiosis lipotica is harmless, but it can cause complications. Number 9. A darker area of skin that feels like velvet. A velvety black patch, or band, of skin on your neck, armpits, groin, or elsewhere may mean you have too much insulin in your blood. This is often a sign of prediabetes. The medical name for this skin disease is acanthosis nigricans, and, and often causes darkening of the skin on the back of the head, which can be the first sign that someone has diabetes. Number 8. Hard, thickening skin. If it occurs in the fingers, toes, or both, the medical name for the condition is digital sclerosis. You will notice tight, waxy skin on the back of your hands. Fingers become stiff and difficult to move. If your diabetes has been poorly controlled over the years, you may feel like you have stones in your fingertips. Firm, thick, and raised skin spreads and appeared on the armpits and upper arms. It can also develop in the upper back, shoulders, and neck. Sometimes the thickened skin spreads to the face, shoulders, and chest. In rare cases, the skin on the knees, ankles, or elbows may also thicken, making it difficult to straighten the legs and toes or bend the arms. Wherever this occurs, the thickened skin often has an orange peel texture. This skin problem often occurs in people who have complications from diabetes or difficult to treat diabetes. Tell your doctor about thickened skin. Better diabetes control can provide relief. You may also need physical therapy. If the skin thickens on the fingers, toes, or other joints, physical therapy can help maintain the ability to bend and straighten the joints. Number 7. Blisters. It is rare, but blisters can appear on the skin of people with diabetes. You may notice a large blister, a group of blisters, or both. Blisters often form on the hands, feet, legs, or forearms and look like blisters after a severe burn. Unlike blisters that form after a burn, these blisters are not painful. The medical term for this condition is bullosis diabetricorum. It is sometimes called a diabetic bulla. Tell your doctor about the blisters. You must take steps to prevent infection. Number 6. Skin infections. People with diabetes are prone to skin infections. If you have a skin infection, you notice one or more of the following side effects. Hot, swollen skin that is usually painful. An itchy rash, sometimes with small blisters, dry, scaly skin, or a white discharge that looks like curds. Skin infections can occur anywhere on the body, including between the toes, around one or more nails, and on the scalp. Has it been a year or more since your last period, and do you get yeast infections several times a year? You may have diabetes or prediabetes. If you haven't subscribed yet, Please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the number 5 on our list. Number 5. Open sores and wounds. Prolonged high blood sugar, glucose, can cause poor circulation and nerve damage. If you have had uncontrolled, or poorly controlled, diabetes for a long time, you may already have these conditions. Poor circulation and nerve damage can make it difficult for your body to heal wounds. This is especially true for the feet. These open sores are named diabetic ulcers. If you have diabetes, you should check your feet daily for sores and open wounds. If there is an open wound or sores, seek medical attention immediately. 
work with your doctor to better manage your diabetes. Number 4. Shin Spots. This skin condition causes spots, and sometimes fine lines, that form barely noticeable depressions in the skin. It is common in people with diabetes. The medical name is diabetic dermatosis. It usually forms on the lower legs. In rare cases, you will see it on the arms, thighs, torso, or other parts of the body. These spots are usually brown and cause no symptoms. For these reasons, many people confuse them with age spots. Unlike age spots, these spots and fine lines usually begin to fade after 18 to 24 months. Diabetic skin disease can also remain on the skin indefinitely. Tell your doctor about these spots. Number 3. Outbreak of small, reddish-yellow bumps. When these bumps appear, they often look like pimples. Unlike pimples, they turn yellow quickly. You usually find these bumps on the buttocks, thighs, elbows, or behind the knees. They can form anywhere. If the diabetes is well controlled, these bumps may appear suddenly and disappear quickly. Wherever they form, they are usually painful and itchy. The medical name for the skin disease is exanthema xanthoma. Number 2. Red or skin colored raised bumps. Whether this skin condition is related to diabetes is controversial. We know that most people with granuloma annulari do not have diabetes. However, some studies have identified this skin condition in people with diabetes. One study showed that people with diabetes were more likely to develop granuloma annulari in large areas of skin with bumps that came and went. Another study concluded that people with recurrent granuloma annulari should be screened for diabetes. This skin condition causes bumps and spots that can be skin colored, red, pink, or bluish purple. Number 1. Extremely dry, itchy skin. If you have diabetes, you are more likely to have dry skin. High blood sugar, glucose, can cause this condition. They can also cause dry, itchy skin if you have a skin infection or poor circulation. Talk to your doctor about your extremely dry skin. Better diabetes control can reduce dryness. If you still have dry skin despite better diabetes control, a dermatologist can help. Diabetes can cause many other skin problems. Most skin problems are harmless, but even minor skin problems can have serious consequences for people with diabetes. A board-certified dermatologist can identify and help manage skin problems caused by diabetes. Don't hesitate to leave a comment and share your ideas with us. Thank you, guys, for watching.